Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers Ghost of Eden. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough of uh, the game on the hardest difficulty. Blind playthrough, I shall say. We need to explore the Harrows and that's exactly what we're going to do. There is clearly a point of interest here, but there is also more uh, to it than meets the eye. More efficient than cannon powder. Good. Finally, since we have unleashed our inner ghost, we can give it a go. So I assume this here is available at a later stage. So might as well not bother with it for now, <clears throat> but take a look at what we are going to find over here. At the moment it just says explore and explore can mean a lot of things. For me it means gather resources because we need to upgrade our shit. This is locked from the inside. Locked from the inside is another nice way of saying you gotta get around here. Good, apparently, we need to get upstairs. And we learned something else, textures and... What now? I can't help you from here. I'll deal with it quickly. What is happening here? Don't just stand there, move! Did we miss a few? Little shield. Move it. Marcin left. Okay, apparently we have these stupid ghost wards everywhere, which does not allow us to switch back to. Our good friend uh, Anthea. A ward restrains me, and I need to find that ward. God, wow, this is so much fun. figure out where they might have placed said ward. Something has me. Wards. Good, more witch stone, which uh, we still haven't figured out what it does. But by now I think I do have 2000.
And when I figure out what it does, I am pretty sure... Red, I can't manifest anymore. We're going to find it uh, quite helpful that I've collected so much. Let me take an absolute wild guess. Yep. I can manifest now. Of course. This requires a key. I have to wonder where all of those keys that were always required are. Oh, to make you angry. You know what? Maybe it's underneath here. Correct, should be good enough. This here looks like exactly the type of area where a key could be hidden. Let's just double check one more time. If this guy didn't have a key. No one will come for me, O Lord, have mercy. Well, the guy died up here. That is cruel and unfortunate. But it still doesn't mean that there is a key. Does the game always tell you when you get a key? That's a good question. No, it does not. So sometimes... Sometimes um, it doesn't. All right, opportunist. Rifle damages increase 100% against wounded enemies. Oh, okay. I think we're going to take that. The opportunist. And it's already at rare level. I would say that was worth it. Little mini riddle there. Time for us to explore the wilderness a bit more. And besides fights, what can we do here? There is something down here, a point of interest that I would love to find out what exactly it does it is a golden point of interest it's the first one what in the there's a ship here 
Incredible. Beautiful, too. Lots of soul shards. Oh. Can we somehow get down there? Oh yeah, we can. And we should. Ghost wards. I cannot manifest. Ask for help if you need it. Get back up! This is getting serious. Get lost, won't you? Okay, we're good, we're good. Our self-healing build starts to shine. I could heal myself and sustain myself just by continuing to hit these guys, which is absolutely good. Now what do we find over here? I'm a little bit curious about that golden point of interest. Take care. The place is warded. Something's nearby. Where is it? I'm back. At long last. No way. Teleportation cycle. Off we go then. Or circles rather. I'm ready when you are. Well, but where does it lead? Where does it lead? I mean, that's en endless void breach. We gotta get, we need to get in there and then we get the void splinter as a reward. Where are we exiting? Only one way to find out. <clears throat> sure, we can also move back. So, I have to wonder what exactly are we doing here? This, is a void this isn't breach. over yet. But it seems as if we're immediately fighting, which is a bit strange. Yeah, they Only you flames. don't immediately fight. What seems to be cool is we can 
gather strike power and hit for more and more per strike until we are hit. You're done. Dodge. Okay. Well, that was easy. Just need to hit and don't be hit. Remember what they said. Don't stay here for too long. Follow the braziers. Which I think these will-o'-wisps might be. And don't talk with the dead. Make a run for it! Oh, what is that? This guy. Run, Red. Did we miss a few? Likes us much. Right here, you know. Good, let's try to die, you bastard. I was about to say, let's try to get some health, but that seems to be not possible. Are we really jumping here? Okay, apparently we are. That is so cool. There is a path once I clear the way. Uh, okay, need to destroy I need a better the angle. Stone there, apparently. That from here, yeah. Okay. Off we go then. Ooh. And we are jumping like really, really far. enemies all right healing up a little bit Get back up. Eyes peeled. Get 
bastard. All right, once you are charged up, things are becoming nasty. Ooh, okay, cool. Good job. We hit for 300 there. Compare that with a miserly 910 that we're dealing from time to time. Maybe the trick is a lot of successive hits without being hit in a row. Oh no. I know what that is. Stung. You'll get it next time. Okay, I don't want multiples of these guys to um, to fight, so we're just going to focus on this one for now. <laughs> okay, they summon a lot of creature. Get it next time. Okay, we can't just stand there and take it. So let's we can't trade. Oh, wow, we were, <laughs> oh, we were cornered. things freed at last. <clears throat> yep. 
Bastard. Okay, let's go, baby. Not strong enough. Three to all attributes. Oh, my lord. Okay, that was something. I wonder just how strong you can become with all of those plus attributes. Like every single haunting, every single um, void rift and so on. All of that is cumulative, right? So... Oh, I know exactly where we are. And we got banishing increases the damage of the next punch by 250%. Oh, and that good thing is already remarkable. Hundred sixty. Look at us, we got a remarkable item. I know exactly where we are. We are in the middle of uh, the forest here. I think we need to fast travel back to here. Okay, so here's the thing. Let me Can we can we move back? The way that we came? Answer clearly is no. So let me get back to where we originally came and fast forward that. Okay, we're going to do a little detour. Since I needed to do the fast traveling anyways, I figured, hey, might as well look uh, for a few things here in uh, the forest. Not necessarily to go through all of the creepy vines, um, but maybe to do a couple of those cases. And there's still a haunting case available. Um, I will not in this playthrough try to complete the majority. I'm just trying to complete whatever is available. So in the meantime, off screen, I did one ritual here, which is fine. And now we're just going to check for a couple of activities here and do a haunting case. As for our stats at the moment, um, hard to tell how much came from the pure plus uh, of everything. Um, we found this here and I upgraded it. So we now have the third eye as our drink for the time being. So let's check back with our camp that we have uh, left since quite a while. And let's see what kind of activities need to be done here. Howling in the fog. Jacob and Benedict's Valley. Maybe. Jacob can't come back, can he? No. But if it makes you feel better, we can go and check. So what exactly are those activities? Do we have kind of follow-ups on the cases? The game is deeper than I have given it credit for. I thought you just play through it and it's only a cinematic. There is a bit more content, albeit I must say that uh, things like this here, for instance, where you are essentially revisiting places. Um, 
That requires... You're within gun range, Red. That requires a lot of careful... I'm here, damn it. riding. Oh, come on. Let's not F it up. Look to me. So that requires a lot of careful story writing, and why am I saying that? Uh, simply because um, if you just go back and things are there with bigger stats and meaner abilities, then that isn't really a good throwback. Games that have done, for instance, throwbacks quite well is uh, Wasteland uh, 3, I give that as an example. The Starting Town, um, I think Colorado Springs was the name. At the very end of uh, the game, you're going through that very town again. Because it's part of, an integral part of uh, the You'll actual storyline. So, that essentially uh, mm, makes a lot of uh, makes a lot of sense. And I think I guess the point that I'm trying to make is uh, the um, environment has changed. It's not the same map, just bigger, better stats. It is way more than that. I don't want to spoil uh, the game, but you're essentially fighting a lot of the major fights uh, in the end game right there. Sure, if we really need all of that stuff here. Oh, I know. We needed to jump down here. This was the first, or one of the first ritual sites that I've ever fought at. Good, let's check out what these two brothers are all about. No wolf, no scourge neither. These are Jacob and Ben's trapping grounds, but I sense no stains. We keep looking. It would be hilarious if... The fog is back, but it can't be Ben Stoughton's doing. Nor Jacob Lynn's. So, something else. Let's find the source. The descent is too steep with the fog. Cross the bridge. The path is easier there. Okay, do you mean the other side? I think uh, she effectively meant that. I also found out about the resources. I think I've now understood it. The resources come in different tiers and different areas apparently have different tiers. The enemy enemies are not necessarily aligned uh, to that, but be it as it may. Um, and you need the respective resources from a specific tier in order to upgrade a weapon. Which was funny because we had, for instance, for our... Um, for our newfound vial, we had the resource to upgrade it to the second last uh, stage. And we even have most of the resource to upgrade it to relic. So, point being, we're somehow getting a lot of endgame resources, maybe due to all of the rituals that we're doing, <clears throat> but we're not having base resources like magnetite and so on. Uh, 
And I doubt that any of the resources here will be really helpful for any upgrade of weapon. Good, we've been here before. Cool to reinvestigate a couple of spots, but not much has changed. Same old, same old. Oh, I do not like that. Wolves can't survive in this fog. So it's worse than a wolf. Good news. What carnage. I really don't like that. An alpha wolf. We have him nicely stun locked here. <laughs> I'll just continue doing that. Just an unusually large wolf after all. Certainly seemed unusually murderous. Let's look around. That Stung thing against can't be. the rock. No. Hard enough to kill it. No spectral traces. It's potentially a scorch. If I had uh, to take a guess, it is a scorch. Jacob died right here. Feels like a lifetime ago. Huh. Whatever a lifetime looks like. Blunt. Fresh. Someone took refuge here and was attacked on their way out. Someone's been here. Not Jacob, with them being dead. Whoever it was, they left nothing useful behind. Okay, it's getting a bit closer. Marks. Whatever disemboweled this poor chap was much bigger than a wolf. Scorch. No spectral traces. Ah, then can't be a spectre. Fresh trap uh, traps there. Haven't seen that before. Hmm. I have to wonder. Investigate the area. Okay, right. We uh, we're in the right area. It's just a matter of. Jacob died right here. Feels like a lifetime ago. Uh, whatever a lifetime looks like. Is there anything spectral in here? No, nothing. I mean, we could theoretically rest here. Might as well do that to, to see if that brings out uh, the creature. a bit of the mystery where you need to solve a puzzle but the game could be a bit more gracious with its hints towards what's going on here
it still says investigate the area here so we're not doing something that we should Jacob died right here. I know that Jacob died feels right like here. Yeah, I know it goal. feels like a lifetime ago. <sighs> Whatever a lifetime looks like. Yeah, Whatever a lifetime heard that looks like. Three times. Why is it still active? What am I missing? Claw marks. Whatever disemboweled this poor chap was much bigger than a wolf. No spectral traces. Some of the th uh, these things are not updating. I mean, yeah, we have seen that. This year's new footprints. They lead to the cliff face. No human could climb that. Oh, summing up, someone took refuge here and was attacked. A massacre of wolves caused the fog, but of whatever did the killing, there is no trace. Not a ghost, nor a spectre. Something with an uncanny climbing ability. Well, I'm stumped. I suppose some mysteries are never solved. That's it. Okay. Maybe, just maybe, we need to fast travel that the next time. All right, let me do the others. I, I'm just seeing if the next one is better. It's gone now. All right, so not a hundred percent sure. Uh, not a hundred percent sure how it is with the others, but these uh, things seem to be a bit uh, goose uh, hunts. Um, My name were Rose, a flower. It's a bit inconsistent because uh, Rose here. But I did not make the world. It made me. Yeah, because Rose here, for instance, we killed her, but there seems to be a um, a spirit still lingering. So these things are a bit elaborate goose chases. Uh, for instance, the second one that I just did. Uh, was essentially running from uh, the house of the French traitor and uh, finding Thomas Haig, who I thought we had killed uh, or uh, banished, but he apparently was not uh, banished in the process. Instead, he uh, was still coming back, so yeah. Not sure if I should do these things or not. For instance, I can swear that uh, this year will be a follow up. Banisher. Arthur, how goes it? It goes to shit, is how it goes. Every damnable time. Here, the way I see it, you owe me. Maybe you can pay off a little of your debt. The camp needs nails faster than I can learn how to make the buggering things. You could bring me some. I remember Nelly mentioning a blacksmith in Fort Jericho. Perhaps a merchant there may still sell his craft. So just out of anything useful to sell, by curiosity, the way. do they decide for yourself? Now have a broader uh, spectrum. 
Uh, he definitely has Magnetite. Real favorite. So that would cost us 40. He does have the stuff that we're looking for. Let's see what we need in order to upgrade our um, our stuff. That might be a good uh, use of our money. I'll take my leave. <laughs> good. Before we're doing that, though. He doesn't seem to be our biggest fan, so I'm wondering if we're overpaying. And he wants us to go where exactly? Um. Good question. So the haunting cases are all solved. Find nails for Arthur. So apparently these are like follow up haunting cases. The trappers and these we have fully uh, solved, but this one here is still going so it is follow which now means the 1800 meters are real he wants us to go somewhere I wish you could center on a quest. Okay, yeah. Mm. Good talking to you, Arthur. Uh, mm. We're going to do that another time. In the meantime, what I would want to do is upgrade this here. We need striped wintergreen, uh, mm, nine cases, and we need um, sulfur polypore, nine cases. Let's start with that. Good day to you. Do we have Bill. either of that? You better think side fit. Stripe winter green. Okay. So we need nine. And we need another nine. Cool. I'll take my leave. <laughs> That'll allow us to upgrade our weapons and our main armor. What's missing here? Six magnetite. Uh, 17 bone fragments and a lot of copper 23 copper so six magnetite and 23 copper good not sure if we can um, can get all of that here you have anything useful to set aside copper 23 that would cost us quite you have anything a useful to sell by the way nice Sorry. penny But it's okay for an upgrade and then magnetite. Good. I'll take my leave. That should give us enough to upgrade literally everything. Good day to you. No, come on. Don't good day. Bit light. I'll take my leave. All right, let me upgrade all of that and uh, be right back. Red McRae. All right, off we go. Let's uh, start the actual take here with Kate, which certainly is going to be an interesting little thing. 
I didn't expect you back. I'm working my way back to New Eden Town. There, you're on your own. The settlement seems to be doing well with you in charge. We've made some gains, but we're far from ready to leave. Did you tell them what Thick Skin did? I told them she died hunting the beast. Some are yet in their sullens, but they're better with sleep now the nightmares have stopped. Perhaps them not knowing is for the best. If we are to keep our chins up and leave for good, better they stay in the dark. Still, some troubles yet vex. The bodies of the lost are buried, many without names, but we found tracks. They lead away into the woods. Some may have escaped. I need to know for sure. If they're alive, you mean? Yes. And if they're dead, that they won't be coming back. We need no more beasts. A new scourge is always possible, but very unlikely without the Nightmare's influence. Probably best to confirm, eh? Thank you. I followed the tracks as far as I could from the killing ground. I left a red flag as a marker. From there, I ventured no further. So that's uh, Goodbye still not the new kick. case. It is just following up our little rescue missions. And oh, since damn this to that help. thing is another 1,800. No, can't be true. So where is this new flag? It's down here. So we want to <clears throat> fast travel to the location. The one thing that I've learned so far is don't just run there, fast travel. That's how the quests have been designed. The world is much bigger than I would have given it credit for. going in the right direction. I think the answer is a solid no. Oh dear, I am uh, directionally challenged in this game. And to be fair, they made the marker, relatively speaking, good. So all you need to do is really follow it. But sometimes it doesn't really work that well. The marker Kate mentioned. Let's find these missing settlers then. I mean, obviously they're dead, but let's find them anyway. Good, pretty sure it's gonna go from bad to worse. Yep. They're feeding off their own rage. <sighs> Think you could take on a ghost? Not 
Not today. One less to worry about. Cool. Easy enough. We just need to investigate what caused the whole accident here. If I had to take a guess, we're going to find it right down here. Three of them found a way out. One succumbed to his injuries. They went southeast, hoping to reach the sea. Then we'll do the same. Oh boy, are you telling me we need to run? Well, I'm a good enough cragsman, but I don't think I can climb this. There's no jump to be had, not that I can see. Then I guess I'm taking the long way around. Yeah, it seems to me that we, again, can't do that right now. Might be able to do it later, so let's go to the ghost hunt. I'll go back to town. Oof! How's Bo's lady? Oh, Mr. McGrath! <laughs> you are a monster. Thank God! I mean, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. Never did like me, Mistress Fitcher. Please don't be childish. That's not true. I doubted you. It's not the same thing. But you slayed the beast. God was with you, and I was wrong to doubt. <sighs> well, I have thoroughly embarrassed myself. Forgive me, if you can. Your ghost stories went to my head. I uh, was gathering plants in the woods. I thought it was attacked by a ghost. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? She is haunted, clear as day. No, it's not ridiculous, no. If you're haunted, I might be able to help you. I'm not haunted. I just took fright is all. But if you really want to help, when I ran, I dropped my bag. It has my medical equipment and supplies. Could you get it for me? Medical supplies are valuable. A shame to lose them. I'll see what I can do. May God's goodness go with you, if you're serious. I still can't tell if you're a serious man. Good. I fast forwarded uh, right to here where the next uh, haunting case is, and we are going to follow that one to the T. You are such a good man. Banisher, rebel, finder of lost baggage. And Beetlehead. You forgot Beetlehead. Interesting sight here. Still can't do much with those uh, dolls, but we now know that there are witches around, or have been around rather. Here in the crevice, Evelyn Fitcher's lost bag. How did she manage to drop it down there?
pretty sure there is uh, another ghost story ongoing with her being not as innocent as she might appear. So we need to get all the way to here. But before we're doing it, I want to double check what else is out there. One idea for this game could be to convert lower resources into higher resources without needing to go to a merchant and being completely ripped off. That way when you're just running through the wilderness, uh, wilderness like we're doing at the moment, it wouldn't be as much of a wasted time. I think I heard the sound of a gun cocking. Have some of this. They are not really strong enough to face us. So, let's get to that secret. Which should be right there. But clearly not available from here. So how do we reach that? How do we reach that? Hmm. So the secret is up there, I have no idea how we would be able to reach it. Alright, game uh, crashed for the very first time, haven't had that happen ever actually. And this is really not the way. Let me go back. Okay, back in action. We walked all the way from here back here. And we're now moving this path and hopefully we'll get to the haunting case. So let's go. interesting mixture out of resources that we could use and resources that we definitely cannot use uh, like older resources in particular I think we've hit a nerve down boy So some of the witch's resource we can definitely uh, utilize for ourselves. I love doing that. Other resources, not so much. I think we've hit a nerve. Uh, 
That corpse is taking aim. I think I used to count my wolf kills on one hand. Move it. Devil take you. Okay, so still not sure what we're finding here. Oh, okay. Let's put a rope down. That way we can always kind of come back. Pretty sure sure that that thing down there is where we need to go but I'm also sure that we might be finding the secret finally more witch stone and we still don't know what it does That's the jump I was looking for. Finally, we get over to the hill. We're being rewarded with a poacher, and that's about it. No. Remember the wicked will I felt earlier. The same spell is upon this. We should find that ritual seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location. Okay, cool. I mean, overall good, but um, still don't know how to get to that hut. Might find it out. I'll revisit the note. Wait, 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 wait. I think I saw something. Yep. And let these buggers escape and all of the soul shards that we can get okay look we've at least found the secret it's still not a hundred percent clear how to deal with the whole witch thing but he gave us an indication that there seems to be a hut and that hut can maybe tell us what to do. But Our doctor may not believe in ghosts, but this journal was torn by a spectral hand. Pick up the back. Okay, well. We're ready to do that. Uh, Spectre is interesting. They brought more friends. Try this on for size. 
Good. Let's solve that hunting case. Haunting case, that is. I hope whatever's in there is in town. Act. The ghost was after Evelyn, not her bag. Spectral stains lead back to camp. Mistress Fitcher was something of a physician back in Yorkshire. I wonder why she left. She'd stopped seeing patients. Maybe she was bored. I bet she'd take boredom now. Beats a curse, eh? Still want to find out about the hut, so that is going to be on our list next. I remember that we had the notes, but I don't remember where to find the hut. But if we could get those other shrines activated, that might be another really good source of power. And it might also explain the witch stones. So yeah, all of those little side rituals, uh, they uh, really help to improve the character. And given that some of the fights were relatively speaking close calls. Oh, thank God you're back. Why, Mr. Switcher, whatever is the matter? Uh, I was home, working. All of a sudden, the book in my hands was torn apart. What does the devil want with me? Not the devil, but a ghost. You must know it now. Till lately, I would never have believed such nonsense. This never would have happened in Yorkshire. I've passed through Yorkshire. Seems nice enough. Why leave? Why does it matter? To understand why someone is haunted that helps to know a little about them. Fine. I came to treat the sick and chase the devil from New Eden Town. My cousin, Nicholas Doolin, may the Lord keep him, said the town needed doctoring. I took my chance. But when the devil came a-knocking, well... We were forced to leave. For a rationalist, her faith in God and the devil is strong. Did Thick Skin ask you to join her group? Nicola spoke to her for me. She knew my worth. It was difficult to leave New Eden Town. But I'd left one home behind. What did it matter if I must leave another? Would you leave a lover behind? If that's not too impertinent a question. It is too impertinent a question, thank you very much. And the answer is no. I left my patients, and I left a sister. Things between us had soured. Rather than try to fix the unfixable, I chose to start over. Unfixable? Why? She was to wed. And I... opposed it. It was the mistake of her life. I would not lie to comfort her, and she would not forgive me for it. That's good to know. Though I don't yet understand how it relates to your haunting. Mind if I look around? I'm aware this is your home. I've no wish to trespass. If you must, you may. Do tread carefully, hmm? I should go. The Lord she's will very guide uptight, you, If you let him. But she's hiding something. She did not just leave her sister. Whatever the ghost wanted, her. it made quite the mess. Someone threw a book through the window. Our ghost's modus operandi, it seems. Someone has an axe to grind. This ghost is bent on ruining the doctor's business. Maybe they didn't like their medicine. You must break the engagement. First, I'll thank you for your concern. Second, I shall refuse. Felicity and I shall marry. You have the pox. You'll infect your wife and both of you will die. So cease your nagging and do your job. Cure me. Quite the contentious consultation. The patient in question must be our ghost. He had syphilis and didn't take it serious. She took that personally. This could be useful. We're done here. Time to take a look outside. 
Our flying book is a medical tome. Paracelsus. Remember this dose uh, makes the poison like water too powerful medicine to float the body. She has killed him. The dose makes it. the poison. The answer is here somewhere. An unfinished portrait of a couple. Could this be the sister? The ghost is connected to this picture. Time to summon him. No, no, don't go outside. You may hide no more. Why am I here? Oh, that was a clever trick. Now you see me, you lucky things. Can you hear me too? Aye, we can hear you. We've not met. I've seen your likeness. In the picture, you seemed in better shape. Well, now that's not very polite. Who are you, anyway? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McWraith. Geoffrey Rollins, me. Pretty as a picture. Near as pretty as you, me lady fair. We're banishers. Looks are not high on our list of priorities. Banishers, are you? How very attractive. I wager you smell good. I wager you smell dangerous. I like you. The portrait. It's very good. Whose work is it? Evelyn's. My sister-in-law to be. Also, in all but name, my physician. A mark of her affection, perhaps. Was she dear to you too? Evelyn? Dear to me? <laughs> no. Her sister Felicity, yes, very dear. Dear, dear Felicity. Dear Felicity. My wife-to-be, had fate allowed it. Yes, I was intent on marrying Felicity, and would not be deterred by some midwife's trifle. Mistress Fitcher knew you had syphilis. Is it any wonder she would oppose your marriage to her sister? She was the doctor, me lady fair. All she had to do was cure me. What can you tell me about your illness? Don't worry your pretty head about that, me lady fair. It is nothing, nothing at all. I beg to differ. Syphilis is very much something. Because you had the pox, Evelyn Fitcher begged you not to marry her sister, Felicity. Ah, Felicity. She made my legs tingle, my head spin, she set my heart a-beating. Love, my friends, is a beautiful and dangerous thing. Before Evelyn let the illness take me, I was not so sick. I was just a man in love. Hale and hearty, me. You sure about that, friend? Because from where I'm standing, you look like shite. The pox was nothing, old man. Nothing at all. I was a fool in love. Love didn't kill you, Geoffrey Rawlings. Only a fool would think otherwise. I'm no physician, but I think he probably is a fool. With what did she treat your lesions? Salts and powders. Powders and salts. And did they work? No, they did not. Too much sulfur rots the brain, and Joffrey says he lost his mind. No, the other symptoms don't fit. 
powdered quicksilver, perhaps. Too much affects the muscles and makes one's heart rot till death occurs. That's it. Powdered quicksilver. Mercury salts. And Mistress Fitcher increased the dose. Poisoning, perhaps? Wait. What? A poisoning indeed. And not by carelessness. She is not a careless woman. Are you telling me that Evelyn Fitcher, Mistress Fitcher, the midwife, my sister-in-law to be, poisoned me? I'm gonna kill her! Geoffrey Rawlings was obnoxious before. Now he's downright nasty. Oh, oh yeah. Mistress Fitcher's in danger. Do you think she killed him? Yes, I do. She swore to protect and use her knowledge to kill. For oh, shame. This is going to be good when she's. Uh, what would starting you have done to, to save your sister it? from the pox? I might have told her the truth and trusted her to call off the wedding. Not sure she'd have listened, mind you. Uh, always the same fights here. Standing by. Let's see what else we have in store. Joffrey Rawlings, stand away. Mind your own business, my lady fair. Oh, really? I can help. They never learn, do they? I think we've hit a nerve. Stay down! Help if you need it. Very good. That was a decent fight. Slowly but surely getting the hang of that double fighting. And someone over. will need to do a lot They're of gone. explanations. By God Almighty, what on earth were they? I know who haunts you. Your ghost is the spirit of one Joffrey Rawlings. Oh Lord, I thought I knew the voice. I thought I glimpsed his face. He was your patient. Syphilis, I believe. Yes, but this was years ago. Fearing he would give your sister the pox, did you poison him with quicksilver? Is he here in search of revenge? Yes. I stole a few months of Joffrey Rowling's life to save decades of my sisters. You mistook yourself for God. Though you'd sworn an oath to protect life, you delivered death. I played God, for God did nothing! To save one you loved, you do the same. The good lady doctor has a point. 
All right. Let's get to the bottom of this. You've both made your choices. Now it's my turn. Evelyn Fitcher, who swore to do no harm. Geoffrey Rawlings placed his trust in you. You poisoned him. Rawlings was sick, body and soul, and would have passed his illness on. What was I to do? You went against your sister's wishes, against your own principles. Twas a life for a life, a trade, the balance equal. A life for a life. I understand. I'm about to make the same trade. I think that's where we're going to leave it today as this is a good closure another haunting case done us, death was a remedy but who shall judge you banisher when judgment time has come Good, we're getting more essence and like I said, I think this is a perfect time for closure. I will try to figure out what uh, the um, what uh, the uh, witch's haunting uh, case exactly means and then next time we're hopefully going to go back to the endless uh, breach down there. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.